Introducing Programming Ecto from Pragmatic Bookshelf. What's it all about? Well, it's sort of like this. Maybe you're interested in the Elixir programming language, and maybe you've decided to give it a try. But, you say to yourself, the application that I want to build needs a relational database. Does Elixir have a good library for talking to databases? And the answer is, yes it does. It's called Ecto, and it's fantastic. It's fully featured, mature, stable, and actively maintained by a group that includes members of the Elixir core team, so you'd be in very good hands. Sounds good, you say to yourself, but how do I learn it? Well, if you ask around, someone will probably say, oh, you should check out the documentation, it's really good. And they're right, it is. But Ecto is a big library, and the documentation is super specific. I mean, it's got a detailed description of every single function in every single module, and if you're new to Ecto, you've probably got more general questions, like, how is the code organized? What approach does it take? Where do I even start? And you might find the docs a little too specific for that. I mean, it's sort of like you're visiting a city for the first time, and you ask someone, hey, can you show me around? And they say, sure, and then they hand you a phone book. Do you remember the phone book? Back in the day, great big book that listed everything and everybody in a city, took up a lot of space on the kitchen counter, you get the idea. Anyway, the point is, when you're visiting a city for the first time, you don't really want a phone book. You want a tour guide. Someone who can show you around, help you figure out how to get places, and how to make the most out of your visit. And that's where we come in. Programming Ecto is your tour guide for the Ecto library. In part one, we get you oriented by walking you through each of Ecto's main modules one by one, and we show you what they're for, how they work, and how they all fit together. And it won't just be the authors blabbing at you the whole time. We set you up with a sample project and give you code to try out every step of the way, so you learn by doing, not just by reading. In part two, we start looking at some real-world use cases that often come up in database programming and show you how to take the tools you learned in part one to make these use cases work. By the end of the book, you'll have a solid understanding of how to use Ecto, and you'll be ready to put it to work in your own applications. Oh, and all that great documentation I talked about earlier? It's going to start to make a lot more sense. So if you're new to Ecto or would just like to get better at using it, check out Programming Ecto, your tour guide for the Ecto library.